Hey everybody, I'm here in North Carolina with my friend Kathy King driving and we're going up this crazy road which I don't know if I can capture but it's kind of a steep drop off and um, all the leaf peepers are up here and we count as leaf peepers as well. We're going to go on a hike up here today. We were thinking that it will be slightly less crowded than um, O'Connell Lufty and Blue Ridge. But look at the glorious trees. Here we are in Cataloochee Valley and look at the elk. Just hanging out by the house here in the shade. It's interesting that they're choosing to be in the shade. There's another little structure over here and just Elk galore. Let's see, I can scoot in on them. So, we don't know how many elk there are in the park now. We we're trying to guess how many they started with. But that's just a magnificent animal. <coughs> it's kind of hard to steady them. Yeah. We've chosen to park here and do a hike. Um, the hike is up to this house okay no this is not part of the hike but look at this beautiful house and this interesting bridge it's like a dream I don't know what the story is with this house. Huh? I don't know what the story is. Maybe they'll have some information. Yeah, now. and I've got my book in my little uh, brochure for the Toluchi and the car. I think the Caldwells are one of the original families that settled here. Tense picture. <laughs> it's very well built. This is where I would hang out. I would be hanging out on this back porch. I love it. Come back in, in here on the way out. What's in there? family to live here. Um, it's now called the park. They left in 1968 and her family was the very first settlers. I thought they called it were. There were more people living here at the time before the park took it over in the 30s than there were in Waynesville at the time. Hmm. Um, My daughter Tammy brought me here. here. I can see mom and dad. Oh, That's awesome. I'm going to go upstairs. If, if that's okay. Because it's not... <laughs> there's nothing saying not to.
This is an awesome house. Oh, oh excuse me. Ah. You can see into the attic. Mm-mm. In that closet. Pretty cool. It's huge. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, big family, mm -hmm. big house. Look at the new old newspaper. Very cool. Yeah. Somebody pointed out this entire house is on rocks. Stacked rocks. How cool is that? Here we go up the Rough Fork Trail. We're hoping to make it to Woody Place. It's only a mile. I think we got this. I think so. Alright. After you, Miss Kathy King. K1 chick. Stop for a second. This beautiful stream. I see a line if you were a foamy boater. But it's really a place like this that you can't capture without being there in person. Not a cloud in the sky. Right up the hill, we have this uh, interesting crossing. This is kind of like the one we went on the last time we were hiking a couple weeks ago in the Smokies. Okay, it looks like we have survived a mile walk in the woods to this beautiful house. Something to live back here. I wonder if it's going to have some information. Uh. I didn't expect this being part of a hike today, is walking in these haunted houses. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get when you're with me. That's the truth. Makes me sad when people put graffiti in places like that. Yeah. It's knuckleheads. Another nice porch. Don't step there. Mo Rosh, this makes me think of you. Like a Mo house. I got good vibes here. I think I'm going to skip upstairs. So Haley and Peggy, this is where we would come out if we had stayed on the uh, off-road adventure we did. It looks like it turned back into a, a paved road. It does. Or a gravel road. Pretty nice. We've ended up on the Blue Ridge Parkway at Bunch's Bald Overlook.
Smokies, where my heart is. Blue Ridge Parkway Tunnel, Big Witch, it's a hilarious name. <laughs> 